And speaking of Ford Power and our beautiful broadcast booth now has a new name. John Force's team is calling it the penalty box. They told him to come down here. The crew chief told me after that driving job. But uh, no, uh, it just gives me a chance to get in here and talk a little talk. It's great with Mike Dunn that he understands being a, a, a motor guy, a clutch guy, and a driver like Mike Neff. He really understands what's going on. I come up here to get an education so he can tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> well, yeah. how about that center line thing? I've had plenty of crew chiefs tell me what I did wrong, but you know what you did wrong, John. I mean, just got it in the heat of the battle, and you kind of hit the throttle when that car was rotated around a little bit too much and went across the center line. I got 25 years' experience with Cass. I know better than that. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, we were programmed, you know, uh, we had a clutch malfunction and Neff said it wasn't going to go. And it went. And that's why I put out the top ball of everything, trying to beat this kid, set him off, couldn't get it done. And then I got across center line. Here is Del Worsham and Matt Hagan. Hagen, a 420 at 292 miles an hour. Nice run, nice race. Really critical to adapt. We had killer conditions this morning, and now all of a sudden the heat's coming back. My crew chiefs are running around over there. These guys are adapting. Wilkerson, just like he did it at the Norwalk in the heat, and Hagen, obviously, both of them ran good right here. Yeah, Matt Hagen did a great job as crew chief Tommy DeLago. As you look at the track temperature up to 109 degrees, obviously they got to tiptoe through the middle of that race track a little bit, but uh, I'll tell you what, that diehard team did a great job to get that round win over Del Worsham, who was running very well this weekend.